Welcome to Exciting Machines. In today's video, we're diving into the incredible world of 3D printed concrete homes. Imagine building an entire house layer by layer with a giant printer, faster, cheaper, and with less waste than ever before. From digital design to robotic construction, this groundbreaking technology is changing the future of housing. Stay with us as we explore how it all works, step by step. Concrete homes built with 3D printers represent a remarkable fusion of construction and cutting-edge technology, offering a glimpse into the future of how we might build houses faster, more affordably, and with far greater design flexibility than traditional methods allow. These homes are made by layering a specialized concrete mixture through a massive robotic arm or gantry-style 3D printer, following a pre-programmed digital design that outlines the shape, structure, and features of the house. The entire process begins with digital modeling using architectural software, which defines the layout and structure. Engineers and architects work together to ensure the design adheres to building codes, load requirements, and thermal performance standards. Once finalized, the model is converted into code that guides the printer's movements layer by layer. The foundation is the first step in any building, even for 3D printed homes. Though 3D printing can create walls and structures, the foundation typically still involves traditional methods. Workers pour concrete slabs or footings based on the design, ensuring a level and solid base for the 3D printer to operate on. Depending on the terrain, local seismic activity, and soil stability, this step may require excavation, rebar reinforcements, and formwork to stabilize the ground and ensure longevity. Once the foundation sets, the 3D printer is set up on site. These printers are large, often standing several meters tall and stretching many meters across to accommodate the entire footprint of the building. Depending on the model, some use crane-like gantry systems, while others are mounted on robotic arms with circular or linear movement. They are connected to a control computer and a pump system that delivers the specialized concrete mix to the nozzle. The concrete used for 3D printing is not standard. It's a high-performance material that must be viscous enough to hold its shape after extrusion, but fluid enough to move through the nozzle without clogging. It also needs to set quickly to support subsequent layers without collapsing, but not so fast that it causes clogs or flow problems during application. This special mix often includes Portland cement, water, sand, and various additives like silica fume, fly ash, or plasticizers to optimize flowability, setting time, and compressive strength. The printer begins by extruding the first layer of concrete along the outer and inner perimeter of the wall, much like squeezing toothpaste from a tube. It follows the coordinates from the digital model precisely. Once the first layer is complete, it immediately begins laying the next one on top. Because each layer hardens quickly enough to support the next, the structure rises steadily often within hours or days, depending on size and complexity. Openings for windows, doors, and utility conduits are included in the digital model and printed around during construction. Some systems print hollow channels for electrical wiring and plumbing, or workers may manually install conduit boxes during the printing process. In certain cases, insulation and reinforcement materials, like rebar or foam, can be added between layers to enhance thermal performance and structural integrity. Some companies even include robotic systems or manual workers to install these elements simultaneously during printing. Once the wall system is complete, the structure resembles a massive sculpture of concrete ribbons stacked together. The surface may appear layered or striated, but it can be finished with smoothing techniques or left exposed for an architectural textured aesthetic. In some cases, extra cladding or paint is added for weatherproofing and aesthetics. After the main walls are printed, the next step is the installation of the roof. While most 3D printed homes currently use conventionally built roofs, often prefabricated trusses or poured slabs, some researchers are working on systems to print roof structures too. Regardless of method, the roof is added once the walls have cured sufficiently to bear its load. Windows, doors, and interior partitions are then installed, as with any traditional construction. Floors can be printed or poured, and plumbing, HVAC, and electrical systems are finalized. 
The modular and digital nature of the 3D printed process also allows integration with smart home technology from the start. Once complete, the home goes through inspection and code compliance testing to ensure it's safe for habitation. The benefits of this construction method are numerous. First and foremost, speed. A home that might take months to build using traditional methods can be printed in a matter of days. For example, a simple one-bedroom home can be printed in less than 24 hours of actual print time, excluding drying and finishing. This speed reduces labor costs and makes it easier to deploy housing quickly in disaster zones or rapidly growing urban areas. Secondly, there's significant cost savings. Because the process requires less manual labor and materials are used more efficiently, overall construction costs can be slashed by as much as 30 to 60% depending on the project. Material waste is also greatly reduced because only the necessary amount of concrete is used and there's no need for excess formwork, saw cuts, or disposal of offcuts. Another major advantage is design flexibility. Since the structure is built directly from a digital model, it's possible to create curves, arches, and complex geometries that would be expensive or time-consuming with traditional methods. This opens the door to innovative architectural designs and customizable homes that adapt better to the environment, optimize sunlight and airflow, or incorporate features for accessibility. The use of automation also means there's less reliance on large teams of skilled workers, which can be a major bottleneck in areas with labor shortages. It also reduces on-site injuries and improves safety, as dangerous tasks like climbing scaffolds or pouring concrete at height are minimized or eliminated. Despite the promise, there are still challenges. One is regulatory. Building codes have been written around traditional construction so adapting them to accommodate 3D printed structures is a slow process. Inspectors may be unfamiliar with the materials and techniques, leading to delays or uncertainty. Engineers must prove that their printed walls meet structural standards for load bearing, fire resistance, insulation, and durability. Another challenge is scalability. While it's possible to print a small home quickly, printing an entire apartment building or complex requires far more coordination, larger machines, and infrastructure that's not yet widely available. Some companies are tackling this by using multiple printers or hybrid construction techniques, where 3D printed walls are combined with prefabricated components. There's also the issue of finish quality. While the striated layers of concrete can be smoothed or left visible for style, some customers may expect traditional finishes like drywall, paint, or tile. This requires additional labor and cost. Additionally, the printed concrete is strong in compression but weak in tension, so reinforcements must be planned carefully, especially in earthquake-prone areas. Innovations are underway to address these issues, such as adding steel or carbon fiber reinforcements, embedding mesh, or using composite materials. Sustainability is another area where 3D printed homes shine. The reduction in material waste, labor energy use, and transportation emissions contributes to a lower carbon footprint. Some companies are experimenting with alternative cements, recycled aggregates, or even natural materials like clay and straw to reduce environmental impact even further. 3D printing in construction is more than a technological novelty. It's a shift in how we think about design, labor, and the built environment. The home becomes not just a product, but a programmable, customizable, and sustainable solution tailored to the needs of its occupants and the realities of its location. It reduces dependence on long supply chains, cuts down on waste, and empowers local builders with powerful new tools. While there are still barriers to overcome in terms of regulation, material science, and scale, the momentum is undeniable. Every month, new homes are printed, new techniques are published, and new investors enter the space. The future is layered, and concrete homes built by 3D printers are leading the way in transforming how we build our world. Thanks for watching this exciting journey into the world of 3D printed concrete homes. We hope you're as amazed as we are by the future of construction. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and share it with friends. Let us know your thoughts or questions in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. For more incredible tech and innovation, 
Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update from exciting machines. See you in the next video.